Tom Donny here, just looking at a crank we just built. So this is a hybrid I just put together. And of course we use the new rods with the modern jet ski snowmobile style cages in the bottom. Had extreme success with those. Uh, we also like the top end bearing. Um, that's a long bearing in there, nice support. Here's the, um, you know, the original bearing had double rollers. There's replacements out there that are, the guys are using two sets of these bearings. And um, I've seen a few failures on those. But uh, this is really the big key on, on these rod kits is the upgraded bearing and, and the um, forged rod. But when you get a crank all together, and uh, it wouldn't matter who built it or if it was me or whoever, um, the thing you want to be checking when you're all done is what kind of run out you're getting there. And we're after as little as we can get. I think anywhere in the one and a half down um, is good. Some cranks go together a little bit better than others. This one is about as good as they get. When we do them for Bonneville or for racing, I try to get the clearances real exact. Um, this, one, this one has just a little bit of movement there. It's got about a half to three quarter thousandths. And you can play with them and work on them to get them straight. But once you press the crank apart, you actually have to, when you get it all back together, you actually have to align the crank too. If you don't do that, um, you can actually put them in the block and spin them. And sometimes you'll see the bearing actually rotate. And that's a sign that it's the, the halves, the weights aren't in alignment. But uh, I think it'll stress your main bearings, cause premature main bearing failure if you don't have them properly aligned. I know in Sweden they make a jig that they put them in, um, the guys that do a lot of crank building and do the same thing. You can go online and look at two-stroke two crank rebuilding and see jigs that guys use for two cylinders and triples and stuff like that. Same concept here, we're just using the block as a slave fixture. Anyway, if you're getting cranks done or you're thinking of doing cranks, there's more than just pressing apart and putting back together. Um, you know, uh, the realignment is a bit tricky. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to highlight some of the stuff we're doing and, and uh, keeping these old cars alive. We do weight balance all of our rods. So you can see this one is a 651 gram as a package, each rod. And we do that and, and we tape them together like this. So you've got a set of three if you end up buying them. Um, here's one at 653, so there, there's a little weight difference. And we just, when we get them right from the factory, we just pull them out and check the weight on every box and match them accordingly right out of the gate so we don't have to do it again later. Anyway, um, that's about all I got for today, just playing around with, with my crank. So uh, safe sobbing and keep your old car going, okay? Have fun, be safe.